In this video, we will explore a simple but a powerful function that is time dot sleep. It's super useful when you want to pause your code, you want to create the delays or build a timers in Python. So let's get started with our VS code. Make a file by the name sleep.py. Here I will explain you what do time dot sleep function do in Python. Basically, this is this function is used to pause the execution of your Python program for a specified number of seconds. Did you do you understand? Uh, I think no. So let's understand it with a basic example execution. So for this, we have to import the module time. And if uh, if I just write over wait over here and if I use time dot sleep 3 time dot sleep 3 and if I uh, just print 3 seconds later now if I just run this program then you can say wait and after 1 to 3 and it's 3 seconds later the output is here so basically what does this do the three means here the pause the code for three seconds before moving to the next line this fourth line pauses the code for three seconds before moving to the next line now what if we want to use this in our loops let's say we have a loop uh, let's create a loop over here uh, we are using for loop for i in range basically 5 to 0 to minus 1 you are well aware about this I guess we are going from 5 to 0 excluding 0 and minus 1 is backward indexing right in backward direction so print i and time dot sleep it will wait for one second to print each value and then print go then print to go. Uh, you have heard about uh, running like 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. So the gap between this 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 is 1 second only. So we have used time dot sleep 1. So that there is a delay of 1 second. Like if I run this program, you can see 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. This is the use case of time dot sleep function in loops. Basically, it is used as countdown timers or pacing actions. Now, something is blinking in your mind that it can be used as a timer. We can make timer from this. Right, right, right. We can make two. We can buy, use CLI models. In the upcoming videos, I will explain about that. So, if we want to load the animations, or you can say CLI effects, then how we can do this? Uh, we will just import the time module as usual and I will in the next line I will just print uh, loading and I will just end with it end it with this and for underscore in range four underscore and range five if I just use time dot sleep time dot sleep and 0 0.5 over here it will create a delay of 0.5 seconds then print dot print dot and equal to this this and this will show print backslash and done let me show you the magic of this see loading done this help us to create the animations this help us to load the animations in our CLI model you uh, let me run it again observe right if I change the time by one second then you will see loading is slow very slow One, two, three, four, and done
this is how we can use this function this function is very useful and used in many applications uses many applications and equal to double quotes lets you print on the same line it is useful for the animation style effects basically right now why we use sleep function because sleep is used to add the delay between the actions as you see it is used to simulate the real time waiting uh, we can make cli based loading or countdown timers it is used in automation scripts to avoid the api spamming or rate limiting it is also used for rate limiting and main thing about this is it also accept the float values you have seen you seen here that it accept the float value of 0.5 there is a delay of 0.5 seconds over here and while sleeping the program does nothing it just waits it doesn't do it by any kind of memory it just waits avoid overusing it in the performance sensitive code because the performance basically depends on the time the code takes to run so we shouldn't overuse it it should be used at the right place like for countdown timers etc so this is all about this time dot sleep function time dot sleep function is there in the time module and it is used to create the delays between the programs basically the breaks between the programs and that's it i hope you are clear about this function time dot sleep thank you